All right, so today, as the stream title says, I'm going to be checking out the uh, 4.6 special program. I'm sure most of you have already watched it, but I'm interested in checking it out. So I'll be doing that, and I will be doing... Uh, I know I have, like, one other story quest that I want to do. Um, I'm not planning on watching a Hoyo Fair today, at least. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what Hoyo Fairs are. I see people mentioning them in the chats, in the uh, comment section on YouTube. Alright, so the only thing I know about this new patch, I saw a... I think it was a screenshot of Arlecchino, and she had like a really cool looking scythe. That's the only, scene, uh, that's the only thing I've seen for this uh, patch. So besides that, completely blind. Not like it really matters though, I'm nowhere close to being able to, to do whatever's in this patch. I still have a long way to go. But I am interested in seeing uh, Arlecchino's gameplay and uh, what if there's any events that I will be able to do, that'd be nice. Alright, let's get right into this. Uh, da -da -da -da. It doesn't have a name. What's the... It's just called Special Program. Here we go. Arlecchino looking, looking chibi. You're looking really chibi today. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Ooh, Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. This is very Thus Greek. did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. Are they showing but a new map right now? Today. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! I like this voice actor. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great We're back in Sumer. shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan that oh, a lot of sick. members in the process. What? I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Ooh, let's see. Oh. <clears throat> we'll no I longer read. carry out any special <laughs> missions within Fontaine. Let's see, Arlecchino, Dyer, uh, Bale, Bale Moon? I think that's what it says. I did notice her glitching. Yeah, that gave me the, that gave me the, the creeps. The Knave, fourth of the Fatui Harbingers, a poised, ruthless diplomat to the children in the house of the hearth. She is their feared yet dependable father. <laughs> so she's not a mother. She's a father. She wears the pants. All right, she's she's got a cool design for sure. So mommy that people call her father. See, oh, she's using a sword. Wait, no, that's a scythe. Transfixed. Everlasting oh, as the moon. That was cool. That's her ulti. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. That sort of almost reminds me of. 
Akron Zulti with like that moon in An the background? An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? There's like two different storylines really going on. really looking forward to this rite of duels. Ooh. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. That looks like a new guy. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. Are they I'm not saying the, I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tasty water. We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're she looks told. Freaking amazing. So I do hope you decide to tag along. If you ever want to hide dangerous ahead, <laughs> and I for one don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. That looks like an epic boss fight. Holy crap. Two worlds of flame, the crimson night fades. Welcome right. to the Genshin that Impact was a version 4.6 trailer. special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome everyone! Yay! Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> I still find okay, it crazy so that sure Lenny's voice agree actor that the House is of the Heart Blade. isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, so it's because she's a, a father I'm and so orphanage. thrilled to have been invited to the it. special program. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. <laughs> what Everybody, what's doing? going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. I did was beatboxing. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. All right, well, without Even his any voice further delay, hilarious. let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard mm -hmm. that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Erin, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children what who no those, longer have a home what due do those to signals all mean? manner those, uh, of reasons, and they receive an education what are those in called? a variety of disciplines. Signs, Naturally, uh, at the same time as it provides a home, the children yeah. also take on various responsibilities. Okay, Symbol. this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather uh. complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. Okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. That's going to get uh -oh. confusing. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. She's a mommy, but yeah, she's a but father. Yeah, I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. 
In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and Wait, patient so does that than mean... other children who are their age. You know? Mm. Does that mean That's Lenny, kind of Lynette, sad, though, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, hurt the other kid's name. name? Are they I all part know. of the Fatui? Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because Femini? she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. <laughs> It's okay, spies. okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. Yeah, That's Arlequino. fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't yeah. want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much mm. about her quest. I'm going to mute sound alerts while I'm in this live stream. Oh, well. This will... I believe that not too many people follow during this segment. So hopefully people aren't too bothered by the sound alerts. Okay, but I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will hey, also introduce bee. a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides That's a nice, the story quest, nice I'm also looking right there. forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly This is what I'm style. curious about. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. Hey, why is she just like you glitching see? everywhere? Transfixed. Look at this. The vibe is way different now. The music vibe. Her fighting style reminds me of someone I've seen before. I'm not sure who. This is where you fall. Oh, oh my god! Oh, cool. <laughs> Welcome back, Ugis. Like Hello. Glides. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, and she's has... very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still- I love that throne. I wanted to read all this text, but I can do that in-game when she comes Remember out. Remember what a bond of life is? Uh... Oh, wait, are you yeah, gonna be teaching us about our abilities? Trailer. Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good. <laughs> I don't <student>. get it. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. This is too much knowledge whoa, for my whoa. head. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying <laughs> that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so it, it, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> 
Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. I love our the Lakino red. skill doesn't just damage enemies. That skill, it's it also really applies cool. a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, I love how she she'll gets like a wing. nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't She's regain like, HP Emma, until steal her bond her of life is removed, body, right? Fires her blood. So I don't how know. does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlecchino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill oh and heal God. her based on that her attack cool, and dude. her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlecchino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. God, I know what that oh, reminds so me of now. I'm, that Jean like she's Alter from Fate Go. Mm. Her, like her ulti <laughs> looks sort of like that. <laughs> she's kind of a savage. I I Anyone mean... can heal her. <laughs> um, right, so Arlecchino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her no charge to heal her. Right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Yo. Yeah, and need for putting just some for serious traveling. pressure That's on them. That's so useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just flies over water. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. She's During like the, the first phase of version 4.6. Acheron of this Arlequino, game. They make the, the game way more And Linny will both enjoy convenient. a drop rate boost. <laughs> The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon life. semblance will also become available. Yeah. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an okay. eye out. Yay! I'll be skipping. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> I'll be skipping okay, on so this whole Aaron banner, Damon, this whole version, Do you have any other way. news you'd like to share? Yeah. Actually, I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Oh, oh my right. god. Like, I liked her. Like, I like her normal, like, you know, the version we get her in, but I would want her in this boss version. This boss version looks, it's its a step above, in my opinion. We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <sighs> I guarantee if I had, right. if I had more gems, I would roll for her. new Knave? She's yes. so cool. I am ready. So ready. All right, we have to see some boss fight. Ooh, the choir. I'm liking this. Ooh. That was cool. Oh, this is like her first phase, I'm guessing, and then she's gonna get her second phase in the other form. Yo, that was so cool how she leaps like that. Here it is, yep. I really do want her. I just won't be able to get her. Yo, those those wings look like the 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 meme of death from Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this boss fight looks epic. I definitely have not done an actual boss fight yet. Nothing like this. <laughs> wow. Sheesh. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Do y'all think that was her so boss fight music? Because that music now? was pretty epic. Oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so smooth. <laughs> it feels even more badass. Yeah. Twice the badass bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, that yeah, boss fight like music sounded dodge all of our attacks pretty damn like cool. a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she's literally just It feels phasing. like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Really? Instead, she she's hopes that they'll right be able now. to take the initiative. Even if their opponent is their own father. She's literally the killing outside her world children not show right her children now. mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. 
If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Uh, Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has oh, yeah, total control they are like of her prey legs, while she watches they? them struggle and closes the distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. That looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we I should stop the introduction it. here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point so in order to participate quest. in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, <laughs> they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, going to the domains tab, selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. I'm wow. That's cool. That's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment cool of Harmonic one. Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned oh, for more information. God, not cool. the reverie. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved I thought so. The, the version trailer looks like two different for stories some reason, going on. Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? His picture is right there. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. I like his and design. Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So yeah, if you want to know club. more about what happens in this case, <laughs> all then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act Two. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> really? Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of this? Uh, please. Yeah, one of these He can't keep getting away with Let's see. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead. I already got the kids. Thankfully, I got them in time before they expire. Hey, welcome back, everyone. So hey, we've already told you the so story cool. of Arlequino and the House of the Hearth. The undersea so capital. why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw Remuria. in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much. Oh, is this <laughs> supposed yes, to be you Remuria? Did such a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> yes, a I did new area the of Fontaine will open this in version flat. four point six. Yeah. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Oh. <gasps> this looks so, so nice. I like the statues and stuff. Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? <laughs> oh, bird. Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So Ooh. how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, this I mean, this fun. little town looks a whole lot bigger. Look, it's a little kitty cat now beside that's him. that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we've no been able way. to see the civilization <laughs> that vanished cat. thousands of years ago. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's amazing! <laughs> Anything for a talking cat. 
<laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll Thanks for the follow, the itself, Mustaxio Knight. At the Remoria ruins with the cat. Uh, the kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't. Sorry reach. about the sound You'll alerts. The dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. I should have thought so about this before be starting the stream. Relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remoria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal oh, yeah. time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle. I like the... It's like a the Spartan centaur. The of a great civilization. It's cool looking. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my gosh, yes. And, Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. great. That was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? I like how that clunky it moves question. since the statue. That's a cool little, completed the third little implement. Of the Archon Quest, Song of the I will Dragon be posting it on YouTube, yeah. Automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully, this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. Is this going to be oh. Eat This Quest? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. All take right. a look at today's second redemption code. Yes. Skip, skip, all skip. right. There we are. The organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So Ito's I got a, a question. Game. Does everyone still remember divorce? His voice oh, act is also a game. Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yen perform mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other I than I think the guitar Ito looks pretty, pretty swaggy. Oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. He's got the top oh, yeah. hat and oh, monocle. He says, He's rocking it. And Arataki rocking for life tour to force of awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically, so, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of you from Persona? countless other creatures. I've never played Persona. I've been Aww, really interested in it so for a long time. Adorable. But I'm time really constraints. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I really hope I the definitely do want to try them out sometime. To unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a yeah, little I love, secret. Uh, Ida's he told himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. So if you Ooh. enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. Yeah, I'm should I skip to this more part since I'm not even gonna be able to do this event? Out there. Are you now? Well, since like, you're so I'm not going to be able to reach this event. Festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Us? I'll just I'll play it out. <laughs> why not? All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. <laughs> wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really I used are. To play, uh, and the second it was like task called, like, is called the Trillion Rock Trinket Hero Troll. on the PC. Mm. So that was a fun the Trillion Trinket Troll, game. The Trillion Trinket Troll, the Trillion Trinket Troll. I did it. Ooh. We can't have a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, 
so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. It seems like yeah. a cute event. Yes, that's the point. Music you gets all have fun with it. And after we've I rocked won't. out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if oh, I wait. say... Is it coming to Monster as well? Seekers though? and Strategy has finally arrived. What? Yes! I love Wind Trace. And and yeah, it can get oh, a little dear. tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name this? implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive. Thanks for the follow yeah, event to you. I didn't expect so many like before, follows this early on. I appreciate it. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of so time. So I can do this now, one, can't they I? They will be automatically freed if it's after in they out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. Oh, but co -op. if you get sent to jail twice, oh, I'll do this with you all. From the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely. Yeah, that's I'll do all. this with some of oh, you no. all. Each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby that rebels plan? from that's disguising fun. or concealing themselves. The rebel's goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And yeah, I'm sorry, hunters Charlotte. Will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing. I the wish, I wish I could. They can simply eliminate their opponents. Could, wow. If you, you know, team up with friends, then watching servers. these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected all these risks travelers that running the about. <laughs> it's honestly sort of this funny to look at. super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another that event, seems like fun. Travelers will receive a rather strange commission. Ooh. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients. Isn't that Zhang Ling? Make friends oh, with a pyro regis vine. Huh? Oh yeah. Huh? And not just a pyro regis <laughs> vine. He also wants to befriend a primo geo bishop and a jade plume terror shroom and. The Millennial Pearl Seahorse. Ah, uh, you guys heard me the first time. <laughs> I love that you reaction. Would react this way, anyway. A chef recently returned Ooh, from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, What are those baby? things you in Breath of the, the Wild deal, that live in the volcano? Go check out the event <laughs> where the virgin is <laughs> life. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> but for now, just a it's random time for me to curiosity I, had, I just game. had. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got in it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty Boron. and okay. your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. <gasps> you can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce Literally. them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Nah. Both active strategies and long-term strategies the, the, are available. The cryo one you was my first boss, at will. and it killed However, me. However, your opponent's <laughs> I haven't HP seen the, the pyro one yet, depending on probably the in a different region. That you've Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah, so you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to Leo. generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That means that so is much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up vibro Yo, this crystal harmonics stacked. plans for each of your teams. <laughs> this will allow you to receive Every different combat buffs five where stars you combine transmitter crystals and out. receiver crystals. <laughs> Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank you. And you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. 
You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic Sort of points. bummed I missed out on Jian Jian Yin. I think that's her name. Characters. I really so liked her trailer and her, your team uh, Be sure to her skill set your looks a lot of fun. If you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Sino will love this. The heated battle mode TCG will also receive back. an update. <laughs> so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra. Honestly, most of these <laughs> events are probably things I will not oh be able gosh, to do so with much, how Max. far I am in the you game. You just did an amazing yeah, bit of a bummer, but <laughs> I'll catch up eventually. Uh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I yes, you agree. I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's mm. check out the. The, the last, last redemption, redemption code! code. Yay! We're almost done. Let's see. We're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Any of this? Nice. First uh, off, we have some updates yeah. for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, yep. you can use this feature to put. I'll be missing all out a lot of on a lot of events queue, probably. Where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient. <laughs> so mm -hmm. convenient. The avatar system will also be updated so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. Cool. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm Oh, and there's Arama. You and bet. the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue. Oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. Oh, there's a compass the for treasures? Ah, uh, I need that. Layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. That sounds it's useful. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration okay, progress. Maybe I will. Yeah! Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go, music! Yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new right. region of Fontaine. I think the last will probably just be them talking. That's cool. I really liked the uh, the version trailer. Thank you for joining me for my first uh, ever live stream. Arlecchino looks freaking incredible. I can't wait to actually fight her. That'll probably be like half a year from now or whenever I get there. <laughs> I have no idea how long it's going to take me.